Hello everyone, welcome to another Bryce Talk Show video, and thanks for, for listening and watching. <clears throat> Sorry, I guess I had a little cold. That's what happens when you come home from Florida, and then you feel like crap, I guess. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy this video and listening to it. Thanks for those who have been watching and who do subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. And if you enjoyed the last video, definitely wanted to talk about those last time. And so yeah, so let's get into today's video. So yeah, let's talk about this. First off, let's say uh that's crazy. This week's Thanksgiving already. Time sure does go fast. And, um... Thursday's Thanksgiving, and it's Thanksgiving weekend, and, um... It'll be all nice. It'll be all ready for turkey, larky. And... Turkeyed out later on. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway... So I had I had made an appointment to take my PC to Best Buy over Geek Squad because as I told you before about what happened, if you don't know what happened, well, let me just tell you again. <clears throat> so that way you people will know what happened to it. So the problem stands um, is that I can't log can't log in. So you put in your password, and then, instead of getting your usual welcome screen, you'll see just a moment being stuck there for whoever knows how long. And you're lucky enough if it doesn't just stay there, but it'll probably just blue, go back to a screen in black or some screen. And it won't, you know, thing won't even, thing won't even let me log in. And so... And so, you know, like I said, I could mess with this thing. You try to get this thing to go on, go on, and obviously there's no sound, which is bad because I always use NVDA, which is a screen reader, when I log in. And you also don't hear a win the Windows start up or any sound. And I even tried to use Igniter, and I, un I always muted it and unmuted the speaker. You know how you can do that. And there was still no sound coming through, so the processor must not be good at all either. But, um... Yeah. So I was going to do a clean install of Windows using the ISO, but I was like, I'll just take it over them then, guys. And Dad was like, well, you know that they're going to... Dad was like, well, you know they're going to wipe everything from the hard drive. I'm like, no crap, Sherlock. Of course they're going to wipe it out. What do you think? He's like, are you okay with that? I'm like, well, what do you think? I mean, well, yeah, you got to get it out there somehow. Because that's the only thing they can do. I mean, they couldn't just just do other um 500 other things, but just wipe the whole friggin' thing. You know? So, um... Yeah, so that's something I gotta do. I, cause I said I can't have that thing. I can't have that thing in that same position. I gotta get on it and do, you know. So anyway. So I gotta do that. And try to get it on its feet and running. So that'll also be a good thing, I hope, if I can get that bad boy going. And also, have you seen that YouTube started disabling like counts and how many people dislike a video? Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's, yeah. So, you know, I guess a, a news from YouTube came out saying that they were going to remove the like, dislike, I mean the like, I mean the dislike count. So when you normally dislike a video, you'll see how many people dislike it. Um... But, you know, they would, they would try to, try to, I don't know, try to prevent just like bombing. Like, just 
just liking a bunch of video, a video a lot, just, just cause I guess they, you know, they try to do the experiments. It obviously, don't work. You're gonna have still people who dislike bomb videos. You're still gonna have like I don't see that. There's nothing that will change the fact that people will dislike bomb videos. And you want to make you want to see something if something's clickbait or not. Cause if you see a lot of people disliked it, you know that they're full of baloney and they're just doing stuff. But you know they 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 do this. YouTube has done so much stuff in the past, especially with that Susan Wojcicki, which is a disgrace to your YouTube CEO. And, you know, I I've talked about her in many vi in a couple videos, especially recent videos, and. Um, it's, she's still, she, her and her team just still continue to do more. Like, I kid you not, she still, they still continue to do all this stuff. <clears throat> and they still continue to make YouTube, um, a crazy. And they try to do better, but they ain't doing nothing. They're still, they still, um, chaotic. And, he, and it, they've been starting to roll this out, and a lot of creators have noticed this. I've noticed it. Everybody's noticed it. And um, I don't see the need for it. I could. I wonder if he could predict the next thing they'll do. The well, next thing they'll take. Well, good news is, though, they... Um, they lowered the requirements of using the community post instead of getting 1,000 subscribers, you can get up like to 500 or more. Still higher than I would have anticipated, but I don't understand some of those people that they work with. They're just so freaking stupid, and they are. They're like I don't I don't they're they're just they're stupid. <clears throat> so what's like what's the point of their idea? I don't know why they do this stuff. Cause remember they did Kappa? Remember when they did introduce Kappa? C O P P A? Remember when they introduced that two years ago, how much panic that caused? Cause they thought they would be getting fined for videos. And everybody some people will even stop doing YouTube altogether because of that. Some people came back when they realized that's not what they were they were afraid of, but it still caused a lot of drama and, since then. And the videos made for kids and not for kids don't even get me started on that, because that's that, yeah. Like I don't see the need for all this stuff. So yeah. Speaking of other things, I've been mean, looking at different kind of drones. I was looked at some small drone, the D D DJI Mini 2, but it's a small one. And more re wind resistant. So that might be a good one. It's also got a camera. I mean, the one I have now has a camera, but... We had to try to figure out how to use it. And... You know, that and everybody, you know, doesn't want to set nothing up. So I'm, I was thinking this drone, because it's so small, and, and who knows how resistant to wind it is, but we'll see. But it seems like some of the drones I've been finding now, they're like, even very little wind can impact it. Like, I'm sure some of y'all bought some drones that... Their wind resist. They like. There's barely any, like. Even the smallest of winds, even when it's not windy at all, can impact the drone's position. And if in losing it, even you know. So, it just it just whatever and somehow can impact. Some drones with this wind speed, even I mean, I'd make sense if it was actually windy, windy, but windy enough for the drone. I mean, 
even the smallest of wins, you know, you'd think that you wouldn't lose it with that much wind or it would not carry it that, you know, with that much speed. I know, I mean, I know it's running and flying in the, at a good speed, but you'd think that this wind, even the smallest of wind would be just as okay not to get carried away or lose it or it go a different direction or go too fast and end up landing somewhere else. I mean, you just think that's what would happen. So, but no. And you get all this stuff here. And... Uh, and it's... Um, but I was thinking that might be good because... If I ever flew outside even, it would be better to uh, get a small one, hopefully. And also the one that um, isn't too complicated to figure out. And also isn't too um, crazy with wind. Because it seems like I always have to make sure that it's not, so, not breezy. Because just that one small wind will take it and it'll be gone. Well, either gone it'll or just just go a different place. And that's what would happen. <clears throat> and also, speaking of me look, shopping at stuff, I also was looking at different transmitters, like, for example, the Talking House AM transmitter. Now, I know I got this good old transmitter here that goes on FM mode, but, um... For unlicensed transmissions, AM part 15, you, you can travel further mileage, like what, 1 to 3. On AM, it's probably a couple feet. I mean, on FM, it's a couple feet. But, so on a, a, but on AM, I actually wonder what it would sound like transmitting on AM, on AM mode. Even better yet, if I had a transmitter that did shortwave. Like medium wave band, like transmitting on six megahertz. If it could, if we had like a transmitter, like one of those pirate radio station channel on six megahertz. And it'd be a fun little th thing transmitting on that band. And. I just like shopping and look at all at different stuff. <coughs> different transmitters, different things. And um because some of them might transmit on different frequencies, different bands. Um So yeah. Take 13 minutes. Now. And so I, I always do some research on stuff and look for something. And... And so also, so let's talk on shortcuts too. Um, iOS shortcuts is also a crazy thing. You see, on iOS, I know I was fifteen when iOS fifteen was a thing. Shortcuts had kind of gone crazy with all these privacy. It still hasn't gone fixed on even on iOS fifteen point one point one or on iOS fifteen point one hasn't been fixed yet. There's a lot of problems on shortcuts still. You have a bunch of you still have a bunch of privacy pop ups showing up like on different sites if you want to go do this or that, and you get this file like error x domain whatever that crap. Well, I don't even know what it is, but I get a lot of errors and things that don't work. Prior to iOS fourteen, to, I mean prior to iOS fifteen, whatever, and you know it just it, it still hasn't been changed or nothing after feedback and after talking about it so many times i even posted um 
There was something on Reddit talking about short cuts a few months ago. By some on September, October, saying, you know, this shortcut is terrible on OS 15. And you had a lot of people understanding, and some people think it's terrible too. So, yeah, definitely shortcuts is terrible on 15. And not as useful as it was. I mean, it has a lot of potential, but with all this stuff, it's not really that used. used. So, um. Yeah, it's crazy. To, you know, yeah. it, um, so that's all I wanted to talk about for today. If you enjoyed listening to this video, please do share this video around. And maybe this channel does help a lot. And do subscribe, share, and like this video for more. I'll also have a link so you can download this video. I haven't done that in a long time, but I'll probably get start back into doing that. I haven't done that in a long time. And stay tuned for more videos coming out in the future. And thank you for 313 subscribers still. And let's keep it going. Let's keep all them videos rocking and rolling. This is B-Rice. Peace. See y'all.